In this video, we'll be working on pagination using Nest.js and here's just a demonstration of what we'll be building here. So we can make a get request and in the query parameters we have take equals one and skip equals one and what they'll do is we'll actually get our second um, post and if we change skip to zero for example or we omitted skip the query parameter will get our first post and what we can do is we can take two items here and we can also skip the first item here and this is going to be used to set up pagination for an infinite scroller on the LinkedIn clone so on the news feed of LinkedIn when you scroll down you get all of the uh, new posts loading and this is exactly how we're going to get the data to be able to do that. If you watched the previous video on the introduction to Nest and the CRUD operations, you will know that we've set up this PG admin for GUI and it has our LinkedIn database in it and it's just got a table with an ID, a body and a created at uh, header column header and what we're going to do is you obviously have to have your database connection set up and if you're not sure how to do that watch the previous video with um, this is with an SQL database like we're using Postgres in this case here but basically what we want to do is we want to add a new get endpoint uh, to get our posts and we'll be working with the controller and the service. Now one improvement that we can make to the existing app is in our um, feed models in our entity we can actually change this at column um, and then have this uh, functionality because there's actually built into type ORM that handles this functionality and we can just simply use the decorator create date column and they'll automatically get the time and put it in as the created at uh, time and now we can go into our pagination here so let's start with the actual endpoint itself so rather than this get request here that we just um, we just did in our CRUD application to set up a get um, to learn about NestJS basic operations what we'll do here is we'll just duplicate it but we will call it find selected to denote that we're finding the selected posts and this is going to return an array of feed posts that we select based off the query parameters so we're going to need this query here, this decorator here, and it should auto import it for you. And we'll call it take for how many posts we want to take. And by default, if it's not set, we'll set it to one and we coerce the type from the query string into a number by defining the type here. And we can more or less just duplicate this and rather than take for our second query what we can do is we can have a skip parameter so what we want to do is we want to call our service and we'll have a function called find posts and we're going to put our take into it and also our skip that we're getting from our query parameters now we'll just do obviously we don't want the um, if someone was to type in a hundred or two hundred or three hundred or a thousand we don't want to actually take all of the resources especially if they have a really long list so we can just do a simple check here and if we say if take is over 20 we can just say okay use 20 otherwise we can take the value that they use and now we'll just go ahead and we'll define our find post service so we can use our use it in our controller for our endpoint 
So just below find all posts here, I'm going to have find posts. And it's going to take the same arguments in here. So take is a number. And if it's not there, we'll set it to 10 by default. And we can skip and we'll set that to zero by default. Now this is going to return an observable of the type feed post and an array of them. So what we can do is we can actually go ahead and we can use our feed repo repository that we set up in the previous video. And there's a method called find and count. And as arguments, it can take, um, it can take take, or we can do the shortcut notation, take and skip. And this, what this does is this actually returns a promise. Um, so we can actually just go ahead and chain on this dot then operator here. And we can get our data here. And we can map that. And we can return um, our data. And this data is actually an array of data. And there is all of the posts and also the count of the posts. So what you could do instead is you could do something like this. So you could say posts and count um, using an array destructuring. But we only need the posts. So let's just get the posts. And what we can do is we can just go ahead and we can return the post. Now, what this is returning here is this is actually um, the feed post entity. And it just so happens that our entity and our model are uh, in alignment. So we'll just go ahead and we'll just coerce the type into the feed post array. So now this is all of a promise and this is re the return statement from the promise. So we can once again, we can just say, well, we want to return all of this because we want to use it in our controller. And we can just wrap everything with this um, from, from RxJS and they'll convert the promise into an observable. So we can use a more um, angular sort of approach using observables using RxJS. So now if I save this and I save this, now I'll have to run my server. So we can run npm run start dash dev a colon dev and this will watch our nest server so this will compile and what we can do is we can go back into postman let's say we want to take one and skip none okay we get our first response back let's say we want to take two and skip one and there's obviously there's three items in our um, if I refresh this uh, let's see here in our feed post if we view all rows here we see we get three responses in our database so yeah we can skip and let's say we want all three um, skip none then we can get that now let's just try out the limiter so we know that if we take, let's say we change this to take more than two. And I want to take three. Well, we only get the first two responses back. And if we say take three, or take two and skip one. And then we get the second and third response back. So I'm just going to go ahead and change this back to 20. And I'm actually going to use this pagination um, backend functionality to render the infinite scroller in the LinkedIn clone. So stay tuned for that one. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel.